Kevin from Godlike here. Tone Talk, Episode 7, Part 7, Maxon Fuzz Elements, the seventh and final fuzz pedal that we're going to show you today. Phil from Monster Magnet, guesting in on guitar, sporting his vintage pedal collection. Um, fuzz Elements Void. We saved this weirdest one for last. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's it's a clone, or I you know I hate to use that word, but basically it's designed to emulate the sound of the vintage Ampeg Scrambler, which mm -hmm. is a very rare and wonderful Octavia uh, circuit fuzz Octavia mm -hmm. uh, that produces a really weird upper octave harmonic that does a lot of strange stuff. It's it's uh, it's dynamically sensitive, input sensitive, and uh, just does some really trippy mm -hmm. guitar sounds um this is a matt wells eight ball eight it is ball. eight yeah. ball okay yeah. so matt wells uh legendary amp uh repairman and uh yeah one of the greatest tech yeah, yeah just uh, uh amazing amp technician in new york city uh years ago before the vintage pedal craze matt was uh banging out this uh true to spec clone of the ampeg scrambler mm -hmm. um the maxon as you can see this has three knobs that has two uh the Maxon has went for the same sounds, but they added uh, a level control, so you can actually adjust the output level of the, of the pedal, which I personally find to be pretty yeah, useful. These yeah, because were, these were notoriously, at that era, um, and even Matt, Matt's pedal being true to spec, were notorious, notoriously had low level. Yeah, it's, so it's, it's kind of low have output. So it's great to have the level control on it to get more of the bite that, that uh, this, this pedal um, does you know i mean it's that real crazy oscillating thing which is just amazing yeah it's it's like you know part ring modulator part uh it just does like some weird swelling mm -hmm. uh, effects that are really really cool but enough talking about it let's, let's hear them yeah so here we're gonna, we're gonna start with uh the wells uh eight ball here yep. we go That's the thing, doing the double stops. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, you that's, do double stops, um, you're going to get this ring modulation. It's creating like a third harmonic that's in there. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I love just how it's like you get that weird volume swelling. It's yeah. really neat. It's a, it's a very cool effect. Uh, so here's the Maxon, and we dialed this in with the level pretty much to match the wells. <laughs> It's doing what it's supposed to do. Yeah, I mean, I've had vintage scramblers, and I, I stuck with this one. I, I always wanted, I a always wanted one, but twelve hundred fifty dollars. Yeah, so even back too, then, a little too steep, a little too little steep. Too steep. I've had a few come and go through my hands and used yep. them in the studio. And you know what? Um, Mass pedal always held up. You know, next to it, if not, I liked it. You know, a little more. Yeah. Again, consistency. When he was building this again, like nobody was doing stuff like that yeah. back yep. then. And the uh, late nineties. And then, but this pedal having the level, yeah, the very useful. is really, really yep. useful, really, really great. You can bring it over the top, like um, in a lot of situations that I'm in, whether it be in the studio or live. Sometimes you need that, yeah. You know, and a lot of guys, again, like we talked about this before, like vintage correct isn't always the most user friendly when you're, you know, having yep. to record. And you know, I love how I, how I own a ton of vintage gear. And it's great to have, and it's yeah okay. It sounds amazing, 
but sometimes it falls short in yeah. the usability of it. I think like, you know, over the years I've had tons of vintage gear too, like especially pedals. I'm just like, you know, a pedal nut and I've, I've owned so many different things, but like one thing that's always seemed to be a big stickler for the vintage stuff, especially from the seventies was level disparities. You know, like yeah. you kick something totally. on and your level drops when you want it to be boosted or, you know, like, and you, you always wanted to like, you know, get these pedals perfect. You know, like EH was notorious for it. You know, like the electric mistresses had like a level right. drop and you always wanted to, you know, get these things right, but you didn't want to mess with your pedal either. Well, so it's, it's really nice. You know, like it's, 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 it seems like a simple feature to add, like, Hey, a level control, but it I mean, really is useful. One of the most talked about guitar players ever is Hendrix. Yeah. You know, Hendrix is just like the greatest. I mean, if you broke down his rig and his gear, the worst cables, Yeah. no buffering, no yeah. nothing. Lengths of cable from here to eternity. Yep. You know what I mean? Plugged in backwards and way guys would do it. You know, he sounded pretty good to me. Yeah, right. You know, Absolutely. he didn't have to. No true bypass. Yeah. No, you know, weren't guys weren't concerned with that stuff back yeah. then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it wasn't well, available. And maybe if it was available, they would have been. Yeah. But back then, they didn't know about that stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but I think the point more is that you know, obviously, technology has advanced. But really, the point is going. A lot of guys want to go backwards to that old technology, which is not necessarily the case. So and I that, think, it, you know, and, and that that's not practical. Yeah. In my world, I've talked yeah. about before, I mean, I play in all these different clubs all the time. When you go in to do your show, you want to sound the best you can that given yep. night. So you need consistency. Yep. Yep. So there you have it. We're going to uh, AB these two real quickly mm -hmm. and then we're going to sign off. So here we go. We're going to start with uh, the Max on. Okay, here's the wells. Yeah, they really reacts the same way. It's pretty. It's pretty. Pretty amazing. It's pretty there. If yeah. you really want to hear that tone and action, just get a cactus record. Yeah, you, you'll hear it. Yeah, you know. There you go. Okay, seven fuzz pedals, Max on fuzz elements coming at you. November, late November of this year. I'm Kevin with Godlike signing off. Check out our website, maxonfx.com. Special thanks to Phil Thank for you, Kevin. stepping Always in and uh, stepping up to the plate and helping us out with this. Uh, look for the new monster magnet. Soon, when are we gonna when are we yeah, gonna see that? It's coming out in a couple of weeks. Okay, on October fifteenth. And you're gonna hear a lot of great fuzz some sounds on that. I can guarantee it. Oh yeah. Okay, guys, take it easy.